going on everybody? Eric Barraza here and today I want to show you Joe Satriani's energy. We're going to go over the main riff as well as the intro verse. Okay, so we're tuned down a half step um, and we're going to start with a slide into the fifth fret on string six. We're, so we're an E Dorian by the way. Okay, so we're going five on string six into four five on the next string. And then we're gonna do third fret on string six, pull off to open. Very important that you get those palm mute hits in there. Now, in the very beginning, he's only hitting the open E, or E flat in this case. Um, but once the whole band kicks in, then we are going to uh, full E5 power chord. That riff is so much fun to play. Now, after that, we're doing a bar chord, the A-shaped bar chord, if you will. And uh, we're going E5, D5, E5. Now, I've included the rhythm on this one. Let me know if, for the other parts, you guys would like to see the exact rhythms and how to count it. That helps me a lot. Um, knowing how to count instead of just feeling it. But if you guys just like feeling it and seeing the numbers uh, and being able to listen to the recording match, that's cool too. But let me know if you prefer to see it with the actual correct rhythm uh, notation. I can, I can make that happen. Um, so really important on the down beats, one, two, three, four. Make sure you're doing down strums. On the up beats, make sure you're doing up strums. So it should be down, chuck, Um, going into the verse, we've got this great like E minor pentatonic bluesy Dorian thing happening. You can just think E minor pentatonic. Where he does that thing where you're bending up the minor third, sometimes a quarter step, sometimes a half step. Um, that real bluesy sound, right? So we've got... Very important that you're muting the strings in between those hits. Um, if you don't, it sounds like this. With the chucks. It just sounds a lot more concise. Um, it's got a really cool feel to it. And then on that, uh, at the end of that first phrase, Make that bend real slow. Okay, so it's not right away. And then kill it at the peak. Um, and then... Those extra little effects that he adds gives his playing so much personality. Um, hitting those first two open strings, followed by the slide, really cool. Uh, and then we're hitting that Dorian note, that raised six, the 14th fret of the second string. Bend it up a, a half step, hold it, no vibrato, and then we do this cool thing where it's up and back immediately. And then you're gonna pull that 12. How far does that go? Yeah, I think it's about a half step. Could be a quarter. Could be could be a half. Um, and then we just move up an octave. I always get that <laughs> reverse. Okay, and then we go to this little part. This one's tricky with the fingering, so I would do a bend with the third finger. And then come down, index on 18, and then second finger on 19 of the second string. Third finger on the 19th fret of the first string. I think that's what feels best to me. And then we're right back into the intro. So let me know what you guys think of this. I just wanted to let's get let's get real for a minute. I saw the success of the last Satriani song I did. Of course, it came out right when the new song released, 1980, and. Um, 
I thought, what what would we've we've gotten some new subscribers um, recently because of that, and I thought, would they like to see some more Satriani? What's another great kind of recent Satriani tune? Um, and I was listening to um, what happens next, and that very first track. Oh my gosh! I just that's that's maybe my favorite track on the whole album. So I said, you know what? I I just want to learn that riff for fun. And I was like, well, maybe that would be a good one to uh, to to show to the YouTube community. Um, so I'm a couple years late on it, but but really, let me know what you think. Would you like to see more of that? Do you want to see me figure out the rest of this song? Um, you know, I I don't know everything I'm doing. I'm just kind of making it up as as I go. Um, I just feel like I have something to offer to the guitar community and. Um, I don't necessarily know what that is. So if you guys could let me know in the comments below, like, subscribe, share, um, and, and let me know what you like about this, what you like about some of the other videos, what you don't like, and what you would like to see moving forward. So um, you guys, as my, uh, as my great Aunt Aurora always says, keep your fretboards clean and keep your fret wipes wipier.